all for being here today. I mean, this is really an incredible turnout. And I'm here to enthusiastically and unequivocally endorse Jeff Roy uh, for state representative. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of bittersweet for me a little bit because I'm losing uh, Franklin and Medway in redistricting. Uh, the state legislature decided to send me to Vermont, I think. It might be different. Um, but having said all that, I, I have loved every single minute of representing uh, Franklin and, and Medway uh, in the United States Congress. Um, and I've represented these communities since I first got elected in 1996, and I've been proud of all the projects we work, worked on. We came in here today, the 14495 interchange. We helped get the money for that. We brought Secretary of Transportation Slater here for that celebration. There's some elderly housing, infrastructure projects, all kinds of things that I look around and I really feel proud we work together as a team to accomplish. Um, but I care about this community. Uh, and I really, and I care about the people that I've met here. Uh, really wonderful friends who will be friends for the rest of my life. Uh, and uh, so even though I'm being sent someplace else, um, my heart will always be here, and I will always be here as an advocate. Uh, and so when Representative uh, Roy calls me, um, I will answer the phone and do whatever, whatever he wants. Let me just say a couple of things here before I introduce Jeff. Um, you know, I am here uh, not just because he's a friend and he's been incredibly loyal to me in my campaigns. This is more than about payback. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people, quite frankly, that I've gotten to know over the years who have supported me, who I don't, I wouldn't want to see in the state legislature, you know? Um, <laughs> no, nobody here. <laughs> so it's not just about payback. Um, uh, what it is, is about, I, it, in fact, I believe in this community. We need good people in government. I mean, you know, it, 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 we have too many cynical people um, who run for office, who, who, who run, you know, out of habit as, instead of out of conviction, who run because they, you know, they just want the glory of winning an election, but don't have any intention of doing anything. Uh, and that's why people get cynical. We, we, have, we have people, quite frankly, in both parties, in the state legislature, who, uh, you know, some of them don't belong there. They don't belong there. Uh, we need good people with energy, with passion, uh, Jeff was on the school committee. People know all that he did in the school committee here in Franklin, on uh, town council. Uh, he's been involved in a gazillion community activities. I mean, all the good things that have happened, and his fingerprints are all all part of it. Um, and it's you know, and it's wonderful when good people want to run, and sometimes good people get elected, uh, and that's even a better thing. And you can't get any better than this man here. And so I'm just here to just make a, a pitch to all of you. We have a primary coming up on Thursday, September 6th. And people always ask me, no, you mean Tuesday. No, it is Thursday this year. Thursday, September 6th. And this is a big day uh, for this campaign. Uh, so we need everybody to turn up. Uh, and we need you to call your friends and your neighbors the night before, and make sure your kids and your parents and whoever else you know, uh, you know, know that they have to vote on Thursday, September 6th. And if everybody who I know supports Jeff shows up, he's going to win in the landslide. I believe that he represents all the best of both Franklin and Medway. Um, I have no doubt that if you were to do a poll of everybody and say who would you want as your state representative, he would win over overwhelmingly. The question is turnout. How many people turn out? So we need we need people to leave here tonight, you know, writing notes, act, getting on the phone, emailing, texting, whatever you want to do, getting people to understand that Thursday, September 6th is a big day and people have to go and vote. The other thing is, and some people have written checks here today, and um, you know, and, and sometimes the candidate is too shy to ask, but I'm not the candidate here, so I'm not too shy to ask. <laughs> if you can write them out a check to help them out financially, every dollar, you know, helps. Every dollar buys stamps, every dollar helps man a phone bank, every dollar helps, you know, getting out a direct mail piece. And believe me, it, it, it does matter. But the big, we, in a short 
window here. Like a, 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 what, a, a week from tomorrow. That's the election day. Um, and so I, 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 I'll just conclude by, by saying this. Um, I think it would be a privilege to be represented by somebody like uh, like Jeff Roy. I really do. I mean, I, I don't say that lightly. I mean, they, they, what a great opportunity for Franklin and Medway. Um, and I'm just here to say, don't blow it. Um, <laughs> don't blow it. You know, do whatever Mike asks you to do. Uh, you know, to help out. Just it's a week. It's just a week. That's it. And if you do, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be proud uh, of the person who represent, re represents you in the state legislature. And I, you know, and I, you know, and I'm going to tell you one thing. That I'm, I'm, you know, this guy will tell you what he what he believes, uh, and he'll stick by his word. Uh, and he's a regular person, you know, a decent man. Um, and I'm going to, and, and anything I can do to help help him, I will. So it's with great pleasure, and I'm, I'll tell you, I really. So happy to come here tonight, uh, uh, and believe me, I've had a long, 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 long day. But I'm really happy to be here tonight because nothing gives me more pleasure than to introduce you to the next state representative from this area, Jeff I can't tell you how meaningful it is that Jim came here tonight to endorse this campaign. I first met Jim uh, back in 2001, and I was desperately going through this book looking for the picture. But uh, my family, we went to uh, Washington, D.C. in 2001, and uh, we, we were late for the tour, but uh, we stopped by Jim's office, and uh, they accommodated us gave us a great tour. We went back to the office, we were talking to the staff, and they said, we want you to meet Jim. And uh, he came out of his office, he spent about a half hour with us, we were talking, and they said, well, let's get a picture together. And I've had that picture uh, with me forever, it's, it's part of the book. I have followed Jim, he is a, a model legislator. If I can do 25% of what he does for the people of our district day in and day out, we're going to have a phenomenal time in Massachusetts. He is who I look up to in this race, and he is who I want to be like. And it's especially meaningful to have him come here tonight and, and say the kind things that he did. There's another uh, story I want to share with you uh, about uh, Jim McGovern. We, we went back uh, to Washington, D.C. in 2010. Uh, this time, uh, we brought the extended family, uh, and my mother had never been to uh, Washington, D.C., so uh, this was a special time for her. And one of the, uh, one of the trips we did, we did the Capitol tour, uh, and it was extra special because when we got into the gallery at the Capitol, and this very rarely happens, it's never happened to me in my life, but Congressman McGovern was speaking on the floor of the House of Representatives, and we were sitting up on the gallery, and he happened to be speaking about pulling the troops out of Afghanistan. It was a, a very moving speech. It was wonderful. And my mother was sitting right next to me, and she started to get up after his speech was over. She started to get up and wanted to cheer. I said, please, you can't do that. If you do that, they're going to throw us out of here. So I told my mother, if she came here tonight, I'd say, now you can stand up and cheer. We <laughs> talked about that speech a month after that. That's the type of... Uh, if you say any more, I'm going to tell Kenny, you don't want to come here. <laughs> But I want to thank every one of you for coming out. So many of you have been such a strong part of this campaign. It's been so meaningful to me. I would be so honored and privileged to be your next state representative. And uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Abby Warren Gello, thank you for the beautiful music you provided. I want to thank everybody who's been out there holding signs, who's been making phone